You know, money hasn't always been the same. Value is different to everyone. We've traded all manner of things throughout history. Uh, so what is the history of money itself? Is it any surprise to learn that alcohol was one of the first traded currencies here in Australia? In 1806, William Bly became the fourth governor of New South Wales at a time when the fledgling colony was home to 7,000 outcast souls, all whom were struggling to survive the constant food shortages and negligible infrastructure and what could only be described as a skeleton economy, which was controlled by the military corps. William Bly, a lieutenant overthrown twice by his subordinates, yes, the same William Bly from Mutiny on the Bounty Infamy, the same man cast adrift along with 18 of his loyalists who navigated over three and a half thousand miles to safety in a small lifeboat known as a launch. Bly wasn't known for having a peaceful demeanour or a good relationship with his underlings. From all reports though, he brought it upon himself disaffecting near all those whom over he had charge. When Bly took control of the colony of New South Wales, note and coin money was in short supply, and subsequently a complex barter system evolved, which saw rum imported from India as the most valuable and sought after commodity amongst the convicts and soldiers alike. The currency flowed, with convicts and lower ranking military regularly paid in goods, namely rum, rather than money. At this time, the rum trade was monopolised by the New South Wales Corps, leading to the subsequent nickname in the 1790s of the Rum Corps. In attempting to assert his authority over the economy and justice system, Bly ruffled feathers amongst troops by imposing embargoes on the trade of rum and control over ships and port amongst other provocations. By the 26th of January 1808, the corps had had enough and marched to Government House Sydney for a coup that would become known as the Rum Rebellion, arresting and deposing Bly as the governor of the colony. Australia's only military junta persisted for two years, with the corps relinquishing control to Governor Lachlan Macquarie in 1810, when he took the reins of the neglected colony. When Macquarie took over, the colony was in desperate need of a hospital, and left to their own devices with no assistance from the motherland as far as capital investment, an enterprising Macquarie brokered a deal for the hospital to be built by private merchants. In an ironic twist of fate, in exchange for building the hospital, the merchants were granted a three-year monopoly on the import of rum and spirits, which would go on to inauspiciously become known as the Rum Hospital, and also by reputation, the Sydney Slaughterhouse, due to the arcane medical practices such as bloodletting.